Now in your news at 11, a, a normally busy section of 3rd Street will be closed for the remainder of the year. How one nearby business is handling the changes in customer traffic. Plus, caught on camera, a dramatic scene where an RV catches fire, sparking a series of explosions. And a California cliff rescue after a man gets trapped high above a beach. Thanks for joining us tonight. For your news at 11, I'm Daniel Siemens. The construction causing closures on 3rd Street is in its second week, and it appears it is impacting more than just drivers. WWAY's Dustin Dorsey joins us with more. Dustin, who else is being affected? Daniel, the Harp has been a staple in Wilmington for years, known for its food and fun atmosphere. But the restaurant owners say they have seen a decrease in custom proof. Daniel? Thank you, Dustin. Social issues concerning our community, specifically human trafficking, were on the forefront of a discussion in Wilmington today. Alyssa McKenzie is founder of Stand Against Trafficking USA. Today, the, she hosted a forum at Cape Fear Community College to discuss several social issues. She says we can't overcome problems unless we talk about them, and the best way to help is actually getting involved. If we could start helping that person before their life starts spinning out of control, then we could actually help with the safety of our community. To learn more about Stand Against Trafficking USA, head to our website, www.wayytv3.com. Plans for a group home in Wilmington are a no-go. Cami Bellamy at the Star News reports Christian Recovery Houses hope to open a halfway house for recovering addicts just behind Alderman Elementary School. Neighbors, parents, and school officials opposed that location. But the city board's four-to-one decision against the house came down to city ordinance. Wilmington requires group homes to be a half a mile apart, and there is a similar facility on 41st Street. If you were planning to go to the dress auction we told you about earlier this week, we've got some bad news. It has been canceled. According to the New Hanover County Sheriff's Office, the owner of Isabella Grape Boutique filed for bankruptcy. More than 3,000 designer gowns were supposed to be sold tomorrow at Independence Mall after the Sheriff's Office said the owner had a judgment against her totaling more than $100,000. Carolina Beach businesses thrive off of beach visitors, but as far as actually selling it on the beach itself, as it stood, only two businesses at a time were permitted to do so. The town recently granted a business a third permit. The next day, another business appealed that decision, hoping to get the permit instead. Now it's up to the town manager to decide who gets it. Beach goers say while they don't mind the vendors, they appreciate the limitations. I think it's good to allow, you know, a variety of vendors to be available as long as it's not overwhelming. So I appreciate the fact that the, the you know. UNCW says goodbye to a long-standing professor. After teaching 45 years, Dr. Lou Bettino gave his final film studies lecture today. Over the years, he's been honored with several awards, including the UNC Board of Governors Award for Teaching Excellence. Hundreds of people, including his own daughter, have witnessed his impact on students. They all love him. They think he's hilarious. Um, they treat him, they think that he's like a grandfather or father to him, cares about them. One girl just came up to me and said that um, she was going to school here from out of town and he just welcomed him with open arms and it was like having a second dad here. Oh, how about that? In his lecture, he went over interactions that made him the person he is today. His daughter says he'll now focus on writing and a screenplay. Bottomless mimosas have long been a staple of Sunday morning brunch, but you might not realize it. It is illegal in North Carolina. It's something a, a Cumberland County restaurant recently learned the hard way. Nate Rogers reports. A bill is pending in the General Assembly that would allow restaurants to serve alcohol after 10 a.m. on Sunday. Right now, alcohol can only be served after noon. A big star is getting a big honor. A look at this Parks and Rec star making his mark on none other than Hollywood Boulevard. Plus, why did the seagull cross the road? No, it's not the beginning of a bad joke, but at least this guy used the crosswalk.
this mm -hmm. as the system pulls away, we start to brighten up and warm up. Yeah, so summer on Saturday, spring on Monday. There you go, and then back to summer. And then back to summer. <laughs> Scott, thank you, sir. You a California Highway Patrol chopper helped rescue a man trapped on a cliff above a San Francisco beach this afternoon. It happened above China Beach. Rescue crews used a rope system to get the, down to the man, and once they got there, they provided medical care. The good news here, he only suffered minor injuries. Rescue crews eventually plucked the man from his perch a few hours later. It is still unclear, though, how he got trapped in the first place. An L.A. fire looked like a scene from Breaking Bad as an RV went up in flames just feet from a huge propane tank, and it was all caught on camera. Jeremy Roth has more. Take a look. New Moon is on April 26th, so there you go. Scott, do you know why seagulls are called seagulls? Why is that? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. <laughs> See, I knew he was out of here when we told the joke. The what a way time. to end a week. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Get out there. Enjoy the sun. And we will see you back here on Monday. Good night.